What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today we're going to be digging into how to use the Personas Atom controller inside of Logic Pro X. You may have picked this up. You may have bought it and you're wondering, can I use this in other DAWs? And the answer is yes, you can. Uh, and surprisingly, just about all of the functionality that you have in, uh, say, Persona Studio One, which this is made to be used in conjunction with, you can bring over into uh, a doll like Logic or I'm going to do Ableton here soon. But when you see the green light, you know that you're in MIDI mode instead of the Persona's control mode. So once you're in here, you can use it in any DAW and that's the default MIDI mode or what have you. So just by plugging it up and having done anything, uh, I can automatically control like I got my drum designer right here. You know, I got that all right there. I can even hit the bank button, go to the next bank. And I got a whole different set of sounds, which is really, really cool. Go back, bank in there, and I'm back to this. Uh, I can also do my transport controls, so I can record, I can play, I can stop, I can even, if I'm in record, turn my click on and off, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's pretty dope. Uh, that I can do that I, and I'll show you you have to map that that does not happen by default you have to map it and I'm going to show you how to do it in here in just a second I can show and hide my um, you know plug in whatever plugins I got up I can use the show hide button uh, and I even got my full level so you know by default it's velocity sensitive so I can hit soft or loud uh, but I can hit the full level and everything just plays at full volume. I can also use my note repeat, tap on my hi-hat. You know, pretty dope uh, that I can use that. Um, let's see what else. So that's pretty much the thing. Oh, my knobs. I can map my knobs to control the volumes or the pan or whatever the case may be just by going up here going to control surface, learn, assignment, uh, and then I can turn this knob and boom. And you can do that and to map each one of your uh, particular, um, you know, volume sliders or pan or whatever you want to control it. You can also make it work inside the plugin uh, for, uh, you know, your controller down here. You can go over here to smart controls and you can uh, go in this section and you can actually map your smart controls to these different knobs. So that's beneficial uh, for use in controlling your instruments or controlling logic uh, just in itself. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to map like your um, transport controls uh, and any of these other buttons, then you're going to want to go over to uh, control surfaces. No, not control. So I'm sorry. Go to key commands and go to edit. Uh, and then you find that particular command that you want to do. So like, for instance, I could just go to record. This is what I did when I mapped my thing and you hit learn assignment and then you just hit the record button on here and it, and it does it. So I'll give you an example. I want to use the editor uh, to bring up uh, the you know piano roll editor section or whatever. So let's just type in piano open piano roll for instance uh let's say we wanted to bring up that so that's the key command is key you know command four but i can hit learn assignment and i can hit editor now that's mapped to that so now when i want to pull up my piano roll all i gotta do is hit the editor button and boom there's my piano roll so you can use that and map that to any button because each one of these buttons uh, and now I've sent out MIDI control, MIDI CC um, commands or what have you that you can use to do uh, whatever you want to do here inside of Logic. So that's the basic way that you can use it inside of Logic to control Logic, to play your sounds, uh, to, you know, use your con your your um transport controls and all of that. So it's pretty uh, intuitive and it'll work and you can make it work just like you would make it work inside of Studio One right here inside of Logic. So I'm gonna do another video on how to do this inside of Ableton. Uh, that'll be the next video where I'll show you how it kind of works in that DAW. Uh, and uh, you know how we do. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, do all those things that we normally do on the video. Uh, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out, holla at your boy.